Suzanne, let's start by adding the opening table tag right before our first hyperlink. Press the Enter key at the end of the My Favorite Sites line. Now enter this line just as you see it on screen. Pause the lesson if you need more time to enter this code. As you can see, this table tag has two attributes included. The first attribute sets the width of our table to 300 pixels. By assigning an exact pixel width for the table, we know that it will always appear the same size. The second attribute sets the border of our table to 3. We'll see in a minute what effect this border tag has on our table. So far, we have only established that a table will exist on the page. The next step is to create the first row of our table. And then we'll divide the first row into three equal columns. Right below the opening table tag, add this code. Indent the middle three lines of code with three spaces. The TR tag stands for table row and is used to start a new row within the table. After that, we have a series of opening and closing TD tags in closing some content. The TD stands for Table Data and is used to create a column. These tags are indented using white space so that we may more easily identify the rows and columns of the table. The more TD tags we have within each row, the more columns we have. We're using the first row of our table to create headings for our link categories. The last tag in this set is the closing TR tag, which ends the first row of our table. Next, let's add another row to our table. One line below the closing TR tag, add this code. Once again, indent the table data tags three spaces. This time, we've left the TD tags empty, so the next step is to add content within each column. We'll do that by cutting and pasting the existing links we have into our table. Select the entire line of code that creates the link to the Video Professor website and then press Ctrl and X on the keyboard to cut this code from the page. We want to paste this link into the first column of the second row of our table. Click right between the first opening and closing TD tags and then press Ctrl and V to paste the code we just cut. Go ahead and remove the paragraph tag at the beginning of this line of code. We no longer need this tag. Now, we'll repeat that process, pasting the Yahoo link into the second column of our table. Select the entire line of code representing the Yahoo link, and then cut that code from its original position. Then click between the second set of TD tags, and paste the code. Once again, you can remove the paragraph tag at the beginning of this line of code. Repeat that whole process one more time, this time copying the MGM grand link into the third column of our table. You can leave the W3C link where it is for now. We will paste that link into row three in a few minutes. We now have enough content in our table to take a look at the page in the browser. But first, we need to add a closing table tag, or our table will not display properly. Let's go ahead and do that now. Right after the last closing TR tag, add a closing table tag. Save the links file. and then refresh the browser view to see our new table. And we can see the beginnings of our table. 